Hi everybody, it's toe drag time at Marcel's Hockey School and those of you who follow me on social media know that I love toe drags and we're going to be doing a backhand tutorial, backhand toe drag tutorial today. My forehand toe drag tutorial was one of my first ever YouTube videos. I'll post a link up top. It's in German but subtitled in English. Might have to redo it sometime. It's getting a little bit old and now I'll show you the backhand toe drag. And the backhand toe drag is something that used to be completely exotic and now more and more good players, top players are doing it and you can use it on a one against one or you can also use it on a breakaway or a penalty shot against the goalie. And I'm going to post for you an awesome clip of our Landsberg River Kings pro player Mika Reuter on a penalty shot, how he dangles the goalie. Let's check it out and then let's get into the move. Mika Reuter hat den Kopf oben, schaut den Torwart aus und macht es. So hätte das der Vogel eben machen wollen. Und Mika Reuter mit einem sehenswerten Move. Okay, so let's talk about the toe drag itself. Now, why, why even do this move? I mean, you could just push it forward and pull the puck across. And the backhand toe drag is a lot more complicated because you're pushing it forward, putting your stick kind of on top of the puck and pulling it across like that. So, so why would you even do it? Now, in my experience, the reason is, is that it's very, very deceptive. Now, I, I'm a beer league goalie, aspiring beer league goalie. Mika's done this move on me before. And you're pushing the puck out like this and you're just not expecting somebody to put their stick on top of the puck and pull it across. So your reaction time, for example, as a goalie, or you react a lot later, which gives the shooter an advantage. On top of the fact the stick is more open for a longer period of time, and open stick usually means shot. Another reason why you react later. That's the same thing when you're coming in on a defender. You got the puck out, you might be faking a pass in this, in, in this direction, or a shot, and then instead of moving it over like this, which is a good move, but a little bit easier to read. You put the puck on top of the, st the stick on top of the puck and then pull it over. And I find defenders react a lot later to it than just the standard push and go across. So it is a lot tougher. So let's get into the details of how we need to do this move in order to do it effectively. So the first thing, what you're just going to have to learn, the push is not a really big issue. But what we want to be doing is working a lot on this pull. So let's just start off with that and we'll get into a close up really quickly. You put your stick on top of the puck, not like that because you won't be able to do that in a game, and not in front of the puck because otherwise you're just going to slide. Your stick needs to be angled a little bit so the bottom of the blade is pressing against the ice and the top part of the stick blade is sort of a little bit glued to the puck. So you're, you're basically wedging the puck between your blade and the ice and then you're pulling it over. You want to have it close to the toe. It's, it's, it's very difficult having the puck on the heel. I'll move, it, I'll move over a little bit so you can see it probably from this angle a little bit better. Stick on top of the puck. Not too much of an angle this way, not too much of an angle that way. I'd say it's tough to call, maybe it's a 45 degree angle. Push, pull it over. And what you can work on is just this movement. Catching the puck with your stick, pushing, applying pressure against the ice and pulling it over. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And once you're feeling comfortable with that, you can work on the, the, the fake in front of it. So you're pushing the puck forward and then pulling it across. What's important just with a regular toe drag, as with a regular toe drag, you don't want to be lifting your stick way up in the air and then putting down because, I mean, you might get it and you might not. The closer the, po the stick stays to the puck during the toe drag, the better it's going to be. So push forward, lift the stick ever so slightly, push, pull over, push, pull over. Notice how my top hand is going out. I'm faking this way 
and I'm pulling it over. You can also add a little shot fake, push, pull over, push, pull over, push, missed that one. Ice is a little rough this morning, push, pull over. And now show you a close up so you can get a better idea of what the stick is doing to the puck. So close up and you can see that the stick blade and the ice are basically forming a triangle and the puck is wedged in that angle of the triangle. The stick blade is ever so slightly in front of the puck and I thought that more of the bottom part of the blade would be touching the ice but it's actually not the case. It's just mostly the tip of my blade. And when I now go into the full move, pushing it forward, you can also see that I'm just barely in front of the puck with my stick blade, ever so slightly. It's a very quick fluid motion and I'm touching the ice only with the tip of my blade actually and then basically pulling the puck that's wedged in over to the side. So once you've become comfortable doing the move standing still, obviously you need to add a little bit of speed. So I'll start skating ever so slightly and I really wanna fake as if I'm going in this direction where I'm pushing before I pull the puck across. So this is a great drill for working on the backhand toe drag in a small area. You don't need to do it on the ice. You can also do it off ice and it's very simple but also very effective to work on the touches. And we're going to be going slalom through these pucks with the puck only on the backhand. And the wider you put the pucks out away from, from, from each other, the easier it's going to be. So for starters, make them a little wider and as you get comfortable, you can make them a little bit narrower. I'm just going to go on the backhand, push it over. Just turning my stick blade, going backhand, going the other way. Using my top hand to do the turning. My bottom hand is just guiding. It's all out of the top, getting that blade, oops, over the puck, over the puck, over the puck, over the puck, over the puck. One more time. As you get comfortable, you can go faster. And you can go wider, really easy, and you can do it, or not so easy, but really easy to set up, and you can do it anywhere. And of course, I don't quite have the room here up on my, out on my ODR to do it at full speed. So we're gonna do some drills at full speed using that backhand toe drag at the rink. Let's go. So that's it for the backhand toe drag at Mars House Hockey School. One of those newer moves that's becoming really popular and it's really effective. And 20 years ago, you hardly ever saw a toe drag. Now every good player can do it. And I'm sure in 10 years, everybody's gonna have mastered the backhand toe drag. So get practicing on it. Have fun out there. See you next time at Mars House Hockey School.